Katherine Martin, founder of Quiet Time Ministries. Every day I have the privilege of meeting alone with the one who actually created me, who made the world. His name is Jesus. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. This is my quiet time. Today I want to share a secret I learned from Abraham. As you may know, I have been studying God's promises these days. And one of my heroes of the faith, especially in relation to God's promises, is Abraham. And you see it in Hebrews 6, starting at verse 11. We desire that each one of you show the same diligence so as to re realize the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you will not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made the promise to Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and I will surely multiply you. And so, having patiently waited, he obtained the promise. Abraham patiently waited and he obtained the promise from God. Now, what is it about God's promises that requires this patient waiting? Well, a promise is something that God reveals to us ahead of time to give us comfort, hope, and an expectation about what God is going to do. God tells us his promise prior to the performing of it. Why? So we can be comforted and assured as we wait for him to fulfill his word. And I believe it tries our faith and it grows our faith as we hold on to God's promise with expectation. And so, what is the secret from Abraham that the promises require on our part? Patient waiting. Oh, this is such an amazing word in the Greek. It's makrothumia, and it is the sister word to hupomone, one of my favorite words. Hupomone means to bear things not with passive resignation, but with blazing hope, knowing those things are leading to a goal of glory. Makrothumia, on the other hand, is a patient waiting in relationship more to people than things. It means to be of a long spirit, not to lose heart, to persevere patiently and bravely in enduring misfortunes and troubles. It's often translated long suffering. It's the word used in Hebrews 6.15 of Abraham, where it says, and so having patiently waited, he obtained the promise. Guess who Abraham had to be long suffering with and patiently wait for? God himself. It seems that the Lord is telling us through Abraham that we need an extra dose of long suffering through the power of the Holy Spirit in order to patiently wait for him to fulfill his promises in our lives, his will, his way. And this patient waiting or long suffering is a gift of the Holy Spirit. We see it in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And so God gives us the ability to patiently wait for him. And doesn't that make sense that we wait for God's timing in the fulfillment of a promise? When I set up a speaking engagement and I promise to be there even a year from now, I don't go to the church and arrive at the room the next day. If I did, it would be empty. No one would be there or close to ready for the event. No, I arrive on the specified date and then it's a happening place, people everywhere ready to hear a message from God's word. God is writing the story of our lives, and he has a date book with specific times, dates, places, and he is working everything together as he fulfills his promises in our lives. And by his grace, he gives us these promises ahead of time. And what good is that? Well, it assures us that he is at work. He has a plan. It comforts us to know that he knows what is going on and he has it all covered from beginning to end. It fuels our ability to patiently wait for him to fulfill his promises. This is a great secret, my friend. I recently heard a young girl who won a huge talent contest asked what is most necessary in the achieving of any dream. She responded, patience. 
It takes patience to watch the plan unfold and doors open. And so it is for you with God and His promises, dear friend. It's the secret of Abraham, the father of our faith. Wait patiently. Lord, thank you for Abraham and teaching us the secret of waiting patiently for your promise to be fulfilled in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's my quiet time for this week. God bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing Him.